Dayton firefighters go toward danger every day. Retired Fire Chief Jeff Payne says there is a cumulative effect, especially after 2019, where tragedy dotted the calendar. 2 News Today anchor John Seibel has more on their uncommon response from an uncommon year. Ancient Greek historian Thucydides once said, the bravest are surely those who have the clearest vision of what is before them, glory and danger alike, and yet notwithstanding, go out to meet it. That risky meeting for the Dayton Fire Department was historic in 2019. And I heard a lot of debris flying around and this stuff crashing and this, is, this glass that's everywhere back there right now, but it's, it's really terrible. Memorial Day ending in horror. 15 tornadoes barreling through the Miami Valley, days of around the clock search and rescue, taxing each firefighter sifting through the rubble of decimated communities. Typically, police officers and firefighters, they, you know, they're, they're kind of steal themselves to this type of thing, but not four and five and six things that happen in one year. We got shots fired, we got multiple people down. Barely two months later, another call unlike any in the history of Dayton. A mass shooting in the Oregon district with nine people gunned down. Payne says they were ready. We were prepared for all of these things. Let's be clear, you still fall back on your training, but this isn't anything anyone's ever done before, police or fire. Payne says the Dayton Fire Department met the unprecedented challenge squarely, yet he acknowledges the collateral price that his firefighters personally paid. Pain. There are a lot of pain. There's a lot of folks uh, that, that needed the help and they saw it after it and they received it. But I'm very proud of the way that Dayton firefighters um, bounced back and they just knew they had a job to do. You still have to come in. You still have to go on those 10 and 20 runs a day. Payne says the fire department and the city are engaged to ensure firefighters get the health care they need. He also adds there is a silver lining to the year of tragedy. The fire department is better and even more prepared for the next event, tipping his cap to Dayton Police Chief Richard Beal as the two came together in the weeks following the shooting. They analyzed um, the events that occurred and they identified things that they, that they could do better. They identified things they did well. And more prepared and ready when called into action yet hoping they never have to put that training into practice ever again. John Seibel, 2 News, working for you.